and welcome back to another video as you can see this is going to be another haul this haul shouldn't be that long it's not that much stuff I didn't want to wait I mean I usually try to get a little pile so the video has some length to it but <laughs> I don't think it's necessary how are you guys doing I hope everybody is well um, we are already in February today is February 8th February 8th of 2022 already February is a very special month for me because I celebrate my brother this month the one that had passed away so I try to do a lot of things that remind me of him um, I try to put up like memories about my brother and I like on my social media um, I reminisce like with my fa my family my cousins so February is like a sacred month for me um, because of those things. So I really try to stay happy and positive this month because this is like my brother's celebration of life month, okay? So I just want to share that with you guys. Um, like I said, I hope everyone is doing really well. My floors are getting done on Friday, you guys. Can y'all say <laughs> right. Finally, and then my furniture is being delivered two weeks after that so I'm super excited you guys finally bringing back some normalcy into my life okay let me know what's going on with y'all uh any new things you want to talk about in the uh comment section what's your weather been like because it has been so crazy here right now outside of my house is a sheet of ice chunky's doing really well you guys thank you for everybody who just loves chunky and always ask about chunky and cooper is also doing well all right so let's let's get to it so this weekend I went to Costco's with the hubster uh, usually I do not go to Costco's with him because that is his thing he likes to go to Costco's by himself he likes to walk down every aisle whether he needs something or not and usually I do not go because I don't have the time to be walking down every aisle it's not for me but we get the circular and I was like oh there's some things I wanted to check out like there's some outside furniture that I'm thinking about getting from Costco's for our um, outside area so I wanted to go check that stuff out so yeah um, I went with the hubster and he said I was I was on good behavior there is a vlog if by the time you see this the vlog is out I'll put which vlog it is so you can check that out all right let's get right to it so this is from Costco's you guys now if you guys are drinkers or your people's a drinkers, your husband, your spouse, your girlfriend, your boo boo, your friend, your cousin, your brother, your husband, your whoever. Okay, and I'm talking about the dark liquor, the whiskey and all that, the cognac. This is a really nice set. Um, this is a six piece lead free crystal uh, glass set right here. So this is advertised as uh, for whiskey. My husband does drink whiskey. I'm not a big whiskey fan. I think it tastes like fire. Um, so it says color, body, and nose. It basically explains how, you know, this glass is to help with the tasting of your whiskey. We had a bunch of these type glasses. I don't know what happened to them. They disappear, they break, who freaking knows. So we picked this up and if I wasn't mistaken, this was under, these were under $20 and they're pretty good. Should I take one out? They're pretty good in weight. Uh, this is what it looks like. As you can hear, if you know anything about glass, that's a good glass right there. So if these fall, I don't think they would break right away. They're a nice, decent size, so you can get you a good pour and that nasty aroma from that dark liquor, if you like that. <laughs> so if you need some, if you're in need of some glasses, some dark liquor glasses, and also some wine glasses, which I'm about to show you guys, check Costco's, because they have really good prices for really good quality stuff. I'm sure you could probably find something like this in Home Goods as well, but these are really good, and hubby, pick them up all right so the next thing we did get are these wine glasses here so these are all purpose wine glasses they can be for white or red because there are specific glasses that you can buy for red wine and for white white wine I'm more so of a wine drinker my knowledge is not as good 
as my husband's when it comes to like wine and stuff like that because I'm more of a social drinker. I mean, at home sometimes I'll pour me up a little drink or whatever if I want to unwind, if I'm stressed, whatever. I can I can do me a little drink, but I don't, you know, I don't know all there is to know about wines and all that. And as you guys know, we have a very large wine collection, and I just be like, all right, my husband's like, you want to try this? I'd be like, okay. So these are these. As you can see, a very nice size. Ooh, these are even better. You hear that? These are nice. So we picked these up because again, we have one set of wine glasses left, but they're blue. They're like vintage-y. I love them. We got them years ago at an estate sale. I vlogged about it years ago in my old house. Those we still have. Some have broken, but um, I like the clear glasses obviously because you can see the color of your your drink um so these were under twenty dollars as well or they might have been like 24 or something like that but these eight glasses right here so we're gonna try these out and see how they work out all right so those two pieces are from costco as always my holes and stuff from everywhere so you guys i ordered uh a few things from Shein this time. I just realized on Shein is you can add stuff to your cart and then you can individually pick stuff to check out. I didn't know that. So, because I have all this stuff in my cart and, you know, I decide later if I want it or whatever. And I found out recently that you can just go, okay, I don't want all these 30 million pieces. I just want these four pieces and you can just check out the four pieces. I thought that was so cool. All right, so I ordered this outfit. I'll pop a picture up here. You guys, when I get my studio, I will try to do better with like showing you fit and stuff like that. So maybe. <laughs> so stuff takes so much time. I give it up to the, all you girls who do the try-ons and stuff. Like that's a lot of work. Y'all y'all deserve medals and, and all that. So this is the sweater to that uh, outfit as you can see in the picture all right now this sweater is a 2xl but it does not fit like a 2xl it fits like a large and these are the pants okay I don't know if you can tell you can see through these pants they are sheer and thin as I don't know what so this whole outfit was a fail you guys all right so I'll pop the price up that I paid. It was something ridiculously cheap. The model looked super cute. I was like, oh, I could totally wear this to work with some pumps. It's, you know, a nice little fall outfit. Wrong. So actually today was the day that I thought that I was gonna wear it. I have on a very similar outfit, but I had to switch my whole outfit up. I'm glad I actually was up early and kind of dressed and walking around because if I would have got dressed in a hurry and just threw on my coat and went to work, I would have been embarrassed, okay? So first of all, the pants, I told you they're very thin, okay? I can work with thin, you know, you put on a little pair of Spanx or whatever so your panties aren't showing or some tights or whatever that, you know, works good for you under your clothes. Cool. The pants would not stay up, you guys. I was walking around my house, the pants kept falling down. Now they're a 2XL, but they don't fit me big. So what I've come to realize with Shein, at least for me or my body type, is that pants, I need a 1XL or 2XL. Dresses and blouses, I probably could get away with a large or extra large. That, that's what I'm discovering so far. So I've only placed three or four orders from Shein, and this is what I'm discovering, right? Okay, so these pants kept falling down, you guys, and then they were baggy in the crotch area, right? So I'm like, gosh, what, why do these pants keep falling? I have to keep pulling them up. I, I kind of felt like they were going to rip because they're such a thin material. I was like, if I keep pulling these pants up, they're going to rip. But they just keep fall, they kept falling down. I went to bend over to give Chunky some food, and the whole pants fell off, like, rolled down off my butt. I was like, oh, <laughs> I cannot keep these pants on. The sweater now it's sheer as well so you would either have to have a black bra or some a tank if, if you're doing it for work if you know you're going out to the club or you're going out to dinner with your boo then maybe you want to just have it all hanging out i don't know but it's very thin and it is very short so i was thinking uh 
the sweater would be longer I can kind of pull it over the pants da, da, da. <laughs> that sweater stopped exactly at my waist so the pants I'm probably going to give away they don't work for me um, so I'm gonna put them in the Goodwill bag we have a Goodwill bag I have a shelter bag for women we have a few places that we donate stuff to so the pants I'm gonna give away the sweater I'm going to keep but I probably would only wear it with like a pencil skirt um, and I would definitely have to wear a tank top underneath so that was a fail and a half waste of my money and I'm glad I didn't wear it to work today because I would have been embarrassed trying to keep my pants up moving on okay next up you guys I got these bottles here um they're just water bottles now I got these a while ago from Target in their three dollar section one dollar three dollar five dollar section um these were three bucks I'm actually you know guys you guys you know how I always put together like little cute little gifts and stuff like that so these are going to two separate people I'm doing like a little box for them people in my real life um birthdays and things like that this is just my thing and people look forward to getting these little packages for me I put so much pressure on myself unnecessarily but I love to do it so I got those they were three dollars I thought they were super cute for three dollars like this frosted kind of plastic and you know the top like this and it has a little uh handle thing here where you if you go to the gym you can kind of just like carry it like that or wherever so I thought that was a good deal for three dollars that was from Target maybe like last month okay here is a little something that hubby got for me he went to Elmira New York on business and he went to the Corning Museum of Glass you guys know that I like to collect glass birds like blown glass we actually have a glass place in town well in our old neighborhood where my hubby gets my birds from and they do all type of things vases flowers but I collect the birds right so he picked me up this little special thingy from Elmira maybe I should have unwrapped this already but it's in it's a Christmas ornament and this is what it looks like how freaking cute how stinking cute it's a penguin hand-blown glass so this is for Christmas next year it is for the Christmas tree and he said oh because I did because I did the black and white themed Christmas tree this year this is what he was thinking for next year I was like oh my I might not do black and white next year I might do a different color <laughs> for that tree my traditional tree usually stays traditional with the same sort of pieces on it but that white tree I think I'm going to change it up every year we'll see we'll see we'll see all right so I got that from hubby I just wanted to show that to you guys this is also um, from Shein and it's just a cute little varsity jacket I've been looking for all these varsity jackets I have a really really nice varsity jacket from somewhere I cannot find it I don't know where it is so I've been looking for varsity jackets to wear with all my little sneakers and stuff that I do I saw this on Shein and it says New York on it and I was just like yo you know I had to get this and it was so freaking cheap it also says Brooklyn on it y'all can see there we go Brooklyn baby <laughs> this was so cheap you guys and it's not even cheesy it's not super thick I'll probably have to wait another month or so to wear it like if I'm gonna wear it as a jacket um, I'll pop, pop the picture up right here but it was so inexpensive so I had to get it I have a pair of Jordans I could wear with this I have a pair of Air Max I can wear with that I could wear well I don't wear white uptowns in the winter but anyway you guys so cheap that was from Shein now this next thing is Leah Ray's fault okay we're gonna blame Leah Ray from the Leah Ray show so we be chatting about all type of stuff fashion and sharing stuff with each other and she sends me this bag right she's like look at this isn't this cute now this is from Shein you guys I'll put the picture up you see it says New York right 1988 I thought this was so freaking cute thank you Leah 
I know she's gonna talk mess because she's gonna blame me for some stuff too. But anyway, that was because of Leah. Leah sent it to me. They had a few colors. I think it was three colors, but the green was the most vibrant. I think she liked the green as well. But I had to get it because it says New York on it. And I don't know if it's just a New York thing, but I like stuff that says New York. I like repping my state. I like repping my city. I do not live in Brooklyn anymore. I have not lived in Brooklyn for years. I still rep Brooklyn because that's my hometown. I was born in Brooklyn. I was raised in Brooklyn. My family. So, you know. <laughs> to my core, okay? I still will rep Brooklyn, okay? Not these new people that wasn't born and raised up. Y'all not from Brooklyn. Stop saying y'all from Brooklyn. All these new people coming into the... Stop it. Stop it. Alright, what else? Okay, so here is another another purchase that's not for me. It's actually going to go into a little box for one of my friends. Isn't this so cute, you guys? I think I got this from Walmart like two months ago or a month ago. It's so cute. It seems pretty dang good quality. Um, oh, it's taped up. Okay, I'm not going to open it. But it's, you know, sort of like the Starbucks mug. Battery dying. Please hold. I promise you that these Canon batteries don't last. Okay, but I had three batteries charged on deck. Check it on Chunky. He's been a very good boy. Okay, yeah. So, as I was saying, this is going into a gift box for one of my friends. This particular tumbler, I don't remember if this was from Walmart or Target. I can't remember. But it's from a woman-owned business. And uh, it says one of a kind, unicorn gummies. So I'm assuming there is some candy up in here. But it's taped, so I don't want to open it. So there's that, okay? Next, you guys, is a Nespresso haul. I've been saying for months that I was going to share with you guys the Nespresso that we've been drinking. On Instagram, I said it, and I just totally forget. I do not buy these pods, okay? Because these pods are really expensive. And this is my husband's habit, okay? I partake, but I'm not buying these. So there is an actual Nespresso store not too far from where my husband works and he has set up an account since we've had the Nespresso machine so they store all your information in the computer just like any high-end store or you know better stores where they care about their customers to make money so they could get to you to sell you stuff and all that so every time he goes in they give him samples we got a free uh, Nespresso uh, set cup coffee mug set because he spent a lot of money in there Anyway, so I'm going to share, I know there are a few of you who have the Nespresso machine. When I tell you it is one of the best, the best, I don't even know if it's an investment, but it is one of the best things I could have ever purchased for my house. It wasn't for the house, it was for my husband. But we have been loving that machine, and when I tell you I will not go back to any other machine, I will not, okay? We're actually about to upgrade from the machine that we have now to the next level because that is how good it is and we want to experience the next level all right so this one is the in the zeal child listen okay these are some of the ones that we are drinking i have to buy more storage because we have so many of these pods but i am grateful that my husband takes the time to go and buy these because child I will have to be waiting, child. These boxes are expensive. <laughs> Worth it, but expensive. So anytime you go to the store, the actual store, they will give you one of these bags, which I appreciate. And it's so that you can recycle those pods that you use and you just send it back free of charge. You drop it in the FedEx boxes or drop it off at FedEx and they recycle it, okay? Next is the uh, La Cumplera. The Riffanada, which is this one. These are newer um, flavors, according to Hubby. This is what they told him. I don't know. Maybe they're newer to our profile. I'm not sure. Um, oh, Il Cafe. This one is good. This is a really strong shot of Nespresso. Il spelled I L Cafe. This is good. I've had this one before. And it's just a small little shot. And child, you will be wired. 
this is the another one um tocanto tocanto i haven't had this one but i know that it is just a little shot of nespresso and i'll be right with you chunky and then we have oh i've had this before too <laughs> or or a fio or a fio or or a fio this is another shot of nespresso what it look like what it look like and then last but not least is double espresso dose mm, never had that one so on the box it tells you like the level of the strongness of the coffee so if i need like a really strong shot i'll go up to about a seven or eight hubby can do the end 10 i can't do 10 i will have a freaking headache i will be too wired so a seven or eight is like i'm really tired i need to get some things done and let's get it that's that's basically what i need okay so that was from nespresso is this nespresso okay yeah i'm not gonna even tell you how much coffee was. but that was from nespresso this you guys is for cooper i know so many people miss cooper i'm gonna start putting him back in my videos again once we get to the studio space so this is just something for him once i clean his cage a little new toy from him birds like to also destroy things tear things apart they're really smart so this will keep him occupied for a little bit so i got that for him chunky thinks that it's for him it's not for you chunky and then you guys i posted on um instagram that i went to target my usual runs to target um i'm in target three times a week during the work week because it's so close to my job and I just go to Target for everything and I love Target I love my Target I really do they do a really good job of stocking stuff and customer service is really good and kudos to Target for actually doing something for Black History Month I think they did something last year too didn't they I'm not 100% sure so I picked up a few pieces because one I wanted to support and also I like these pieces okay so these are actually done by Black uh, designers okay so this is the first one I got in this nice like plum color it's just a t-shirt it has Malcolm X on the front and it says driven yes sir yes Lord you already know and these things were reasonably priced this t-shirt was $15 so I don't mind spending a little um, $15 on the bottom it says Malcolm X civil rights leader I can show you that my phone is going off so there's that I'll probably wait till the spring to wear it I mean I could wear it now with like a little long johns top on on the bottom but I'll wait then the next one I got was this it caught my eye because of the gold I really like gold I'm a gold girl um, it says melanated look how cute that is Get a little close up so you can actually see that gold up on there these are all a size large I think yeah this one was only $13 okay so I thought that was cute thank you Cooper <laughs> and then the last thing I got was a hoodie which I can wear now obviously and this one still was only twenty dollars and this is in a size large i love things that have like a lot of colors in it because it gives me so many options with my shoe game you understand me you hear me i have a lot of shoes and sneakers and boots and stuff like that and i just love this cute design with the holographic uh little squiggly lines and then the hands you have the hands in all colors and it's just a hoodie and it's super soft it's super soft i like the pricing i like the designs i was with it i supported my target is actually almost sold out of all of this stuff they did really well with um moving that stuff okay so one last thing and i think i am done i am done okay so these are some fleece pants that i got from walmart maybe last month 
they were on clearance for seven dollars like i was blown away i got these in black too but i already wore those so cover my face all right seven dollars clearance these they just seem like how could these be seven dollars like just let's just look at them okay so they have the fleece and then they have like the pockets which i love that they have pockets look at the inside you guys the inside is just really nice seven dollars okay do not sleep on your walmart i mean i've been buying clothes from walmart for a really long time because my mother-in-law before we moved north she lived north and she would always tell me about there was no walmarts in the city and she would always be like oh super walmart has like the cutest clothes and i was like really walmart has clothes like yeah she used to put me on to the walmart clothes section and be like hmm, get you some cardigans get you this get you that for work and i was hooked ever since then so i don't sleep on walmart and their stuff is not the best quality but it's decent enough and it's inexpensive enough that if it wears out in a season or so you don't mind you go get you something else okay so yeah seven dollars for these cute little fleece pants i have not worn these yet <laughs> cooper's like bro so yeah and i got them in black and the black ones were seven dollars as well so that's it you guys just a quick little i hope this was quick i don't know quick little haul um thank you so much for watching let me know which piece you like the best um i hope that i can load this up quickly i'm so sorry i have to give another shout out to my girl leah because she came up with this great suggestion that i need to put myself on an editing schedule that way i know exactly when i'm editing and i'll take out some time to edit because that is my problem. Making content is not my problem, child. I can make content for days. I got content out the wazoo. It's just a matter of getting all of that content edited and presented on my channel. So I'm gonna have to figure it out, you guys. I live a very busy life. I have a very busy schedule and it's a lot less busy than it used to be if some of y'all know my life prior, which I'm happy about, but it's still, so a lot of stuff going on oh i'm gonna be going to south carolina in march for hubby's dad's birthday so i'm gonna vlog i'm gonna vlog as much as i can um we're going to surprise him he doesn't know that we're coming so that should be exciting and we're gonna stay for the weekend is the issue going on because i don't want to stay his aunt was like oh stay in the house i'll come get you from the airport and i just don't like being dependent on i'm making it super long right i don't like being dependent on other people like if i want to get up and go if i want to tell hubby oh let's go to the mall or that, i don't want to have to depend on them you know like taking us places and then you know with the bathroom i don't know what the bathroom situation is so i'm just trying to be the supportive wife for hubby and if he says we staying at the house you know then i guess we'll stay at the house okay <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video peace